Good day, Brian Terrian here from the Disability Digest. I want to provide a little bit more information to a frequently asked question about does my condition qualify for disability? And when people say, well, I have a bad back or fibromyalgia or lupus or MS, um, just based on that information, it's difficult for anybody in the industry to really determine if you qualify. And this will explain why, hopefully. Social Security has a, a website out that you can go to. It's called Listing of Impairments. So if you were to type in Social Security Impairments or Social Security uh, Disability Impairments, or the link will be below this video, you'll come to a page where you see that there's major categories of uh, disabling conditions. And this is one way that Social Security views if you qualify for disability. So I'm going to provide an example for you with um, 1.00, listing 1.00, which is a muscular skeletal system. That's uh, primarily the back. A lot of disabled um, claims come from people having bad backs. So what I did is I just scrolled down on this page and I'm at 1.04, disorders of the spine. So this explains in Social Security terms what they view to be disorders of the spine that are qualifying um, conditions for Social Security. Um, so I'll save uh, you know the time and, and not read through it because you can read it on the screen or go to it. Um, but the point is this, is that if you have a disorder of the spine and it's being treated and it's documented in your medical records that you have this, what's explained in here, this specific part um, of the listing, then there is an argument that you would meet a listing and qualify for your Social Security disability benefits. So opposed to somebody that may have a bad back that's uncomfortable, they don't really know what it is, they go to the doctor infrequently, it's not documented what the problem is in their medical records, so they have a different process of, you know, trying to get their Social Security disability approved if they can do it at all without any evidence. So hopefully this has been helpful. So again, the key is, uh, key, key, key that you'll hear many times from several people in this industry is you want to make sure that you have uh, your condition is being treated, um, and if it's being treated by a doctor and you can't work, that's one of the keys to getting your Social Security disability benefits. This has been Brian Therrien. Thank you. Make it a great day.